coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next Allegro 5 platform made easy tutorial and we really didn't get to finish off our last tutorial so let us finish it off right now. So we got tile.h and what we're going to do is we're going to change this to an entity type and we'll just change it to e. The reason being is that we can pass in a uh we can pass in a player in there, uh, an enemy, anything that is of an, the entity type. And we can pass in the energy entity manager in there, but I will pass in the entity type and you'll see why uh, in a second. And I'll get the layer.h, just get rid of all this, entity and e. And same in the map.h. And so since we do it in dot eight files, we gotta do it in the header element. Since we did it in the header files, we gotta do it in the in implementation files. So we're gonna say entity E and go to our layer. We'll change this to entity E. And we gotta change that in there. And I think I never did that in the map either. So if we go to map.cpp, make sure you pass the E in there. And if we go to our tile.cpp, we have to change this to an entity type. Now, since I changed it to E, we're going to get a red line on all of these. So I'm gonna highlight it, click Control H, search for player, and replace it with an E in the selection. So I've got that replaced and everything everything should be good from now on so if we go to our gameplay screen dot cpp now we have to pass in an entity type and if we go to map yeah if we go to map dot update it requires an entity type and sorry uh, but what this is player is of entity manager so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through our entities that's why i made it public and we're going to make a call to player dot entities dot or entities i and because we are passing by reference we have to uh, and since it's a pointer value or since we're passing by reference we will put this there um yeah so what we're so what we're doing is yeah we're passing in the initial value in there and so on and so forth and we'll it'll allow us to modify the certain values like so now if we were to pass in an, an entity manager in there then in the tile class what we would have to do is loop through all the entities and do this stuff i didn't really want to do that might as well just loop through it in the game screen so if anything else requires the entity manager uh, the entities or whatever we can just work with one type of entity rather than a whole group of entities in the entity manager class. So now that we've got that set, let's cross our fingers and hope that everything was right. And if it's not right, we will fix the errors because we have enough time to do so. So let's wait for us to build. It's going to take a while. C++ for you. So when we run this, we get uh, an error, and I'm. It looks like an error that we've previously gotten before. So I kind of think I know what's going on, but I'm not exactly exactly too sure. So if we go here, we set our rect and such. So we gotta find out where the error is and what I'm gonna do instead of wasting time, I'll find out where the error is and I'll explain what is going on. Okay, so as I, as I suspected, it had something to do with the float rect. So if we go to player.h, just remove that from there. Um, it was using the float recs from there rather than the ones from the entity that we actually created. So if we run this, it should work, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh yeah, I never removed my breakpoints. Just to test it out. So yeah, we've got everything. So we're back to business or so we think. So 
we are not getting collisions like we did before so uh, let's see what in fact is going on so it's another stupid error uh, if we go to our player dot H get rid of this pair with the previous position and the position because it's using that instead of uh, the position that we made in the entity class uh, just watch out for those little things because they can often make your program a bit I guess buggy but let's run this and see if it works in the way it's supposed to so yeah we've got this uh, working now I know a lot of people don't like this overlapping and stuff like that uh, we will fix this in the next tutorial where we learn about gravity I'll show you how to fix that but uh, that is it for this uh, tutorial and I think I don't was it this tutorial or last tutorial or something uh, I said that uh, let's go to the gameplay screen I said the reason why you put this symbol here is because it's a uh, reference uh, that was stupid okay this is remember how um, the entity manager has is is full of pointers right it's a pointer of entities right and it's full of entity pointers or whatever and because of that we need to dereference it by using this symbol to get the value right so if I I don't know if I mentioned something about this being because we have to put this because it's a reference uh, ignore what I said we just have to dereference it because it's a pointer type I need to dereference it to get the value so uh, just to clarify because I think I made a mistake or I think I might have said something that might not have been clear to some people but besides that that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and the next tutorial will be implementing some gravity and I think will be pretty cool so that's it for now and bye